Good evening. The lone survivor in one of Cape Breton's most notorious crimes has died. Arlene McNeil was shot in the head during an armed robbery at McDonald's in Sydney River back in 1992. That left her permanently disabled. She died Wednesday in Halifax following an illness. As CTV's Kyle Moore tells us, tonight her death has brought back some emotional memories for one of the victim's family members. Described by family as a lover of country music, the queen of crazy eights who enjoyed long walks in her wheelchair. 46-year-old Arlene McNeil is being remembered as a person who had a positive outlook on life despite what she had to overcome. I'm sure it's not the, the life that Arlene or her family thought that she would have. And it's just so very sad that three individuals decided what her life would be. McNeil was just 20 when she was shot in the head and left disabled after three men broke into this McDonald's in Sydney River in May of 1992. Three other employees were murdered in the botched robbery. Kathy Burroughs' brother, Neil, was one of the victims. She says Arlene's death has brought it all back. I was very emotional when I heard that she had passed because we know the pain that um, her mother, her family, her friends are going through and uh, they have lived with it, um, well, almost 27 years. Good morning. We're Good morning. around thank for the Arlene McNeil Trust Fund. Expecting like you, yes, for a very good cause. Shortly after the terrible crime, the community rallied behind the McNeil family, raising more than $100,000 for her long-term care. Arlene's mother spoke about her daughter's aspirations in life and dreams she had, which were abruptly taken away. She was determined that she was going to go through university, get her degree. And uh, she was, she had a steady boyfriend and they were talking about after she finishes her education, she was going to get married and have children. She was always told me she wanted two children, a boy and a girl. And uh, that's all taken away. For most of her life, Arlene lived at a facility in Bridgewater where she received specialized care. Her family says she died Wednesday at the Halifax Infirmary. After all these years, Burroughs remains angry and upset with the three men responsible for the crime. Derek Wood and Freeman McNeil remain behind bars, but Darren Muse was granted parole for good behavior and is living his life in British Columbia. Burroughs feels they should all die in prison. Right now, it's just all about Arlene and her family, and her journey is over, and actually the first thing that I thought of is that the four of them are together again. Now, Kathy Burroughs says she will be attending the funeral for Arlene because her brother Neil would want her to. She feels all four of the victims' families are linked to this one incident. The funeral, meanwhile, will be held for Arlene on Tuesday at St. Joseph's Church in her home community of Little Brador. Bruce. All right, thanks for that, Kyle. CTV's Kyle Moore reporting live tonight from Sydney.